It is 5 p.m. on October 23rd, and we will call the meeting of the Housing Authority of the City of Kyle, Texas to order. Frank, you want to... Oh, Frank. Whew. Man, that was a throwback to you. Steve. Say Frank. Steve, yeah. You called me Frank. Yeah, that, was a, that was a throwback to a long time ago. My Steve. goodness. <laughs> Steve, would you... What did a, I do it, to it, you? It's an old script. It's an old script, brother. <laughs> Steve, would you like to call this meeting to order? I mean, no, would you yeah, like to do roll, roll the call? call? How about that? Because yeah. we already got it to order. Well, I got you going. Now. Yeah. You got yourself <laughs> going. So. Harper. Here. Lopez. Present. Kaufman. Present. Salazar. No. I have not heard from David. Have any of y'all talked to David? Mm. I have not. I haven't um, heard it from him about this meeting or the one on the 4th. I can try and to And I sent a follow-up. We'll, tra we'll track him down. He, he can't hide from us too long. So. No. All right, so our first agenda item is the approval of the previous meeting minutes from October 8th, so just a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. I've reviewed them. I didn't see anything that stuck out to me. I'll let my esteemed colleagues give I, it a perusal. I didn't have any corrections. All right. All right. So no corrections. Do we have a motion to approve? Uh, so moved. All right. Do we have a second? Second. All right. Any opposition? Hearing none. The meeting uh, minutes are approved. Next on the agenda is citizen comment period, and I do not believe we have anyone registered, but we will open it at 5.01. And hearing none, we'll close it at 5.01. Then I think we've got new business, and then we've got the management report. Um, Steve, do we have any action on new business? No, we don't. Um, okay. Originally, this was planned because we thought we would have some uh, paperwork on the uh, MOU from the attorneys, but they did not have it prepared yet. Uh, I checked with them late yesterday, and right. so I didn't want to cancel the meeting. And you know, I figured we should, you know should do it and let you know what's going on. So. Perfect. All right. Well, then at 5:02, we'll uh, move to the management report. Um, I'm warning you. I'm out of here. I know at that. 515. I don't have a lot to report since I saw you all last. I will tell you that I've, on your instructions, I've been to Broadway Bank and started the process of opening uh, two bank accounts that would be part of the uh, partnership with Stryker and um, the attorneys that are handling all of the that end of it have... Uh, registered both of those entities with the uh, Secretary of State, and they've also got me uh, tax ID numbers for both. And so I, in turn, took all that information and went to Broadway Bank today and have started the process to get the two accounts open. And uh, when they get it all ready, they will send it out on a DocuSign so you don't need to go to the bank, Daniel. They'll just email you. Darn. And uh, same with uh, Gloria from my office and myself. What they usually do is they'll send it to me first and then to Gloria and to, and to you last. All right. Great. And then once that's done, then they'll send me all the paperwork, you know, that's set and got it all set up. I will move $50 out of the operating <laughs> account of Pete Dressen and uh, actually $100, $50 for each account so that there is a balance in the account until such time as um, the partnership closes and, and they fund uh, the money to one or both of these accounts. And at that time, once there's money there, I'll take the 50 bucks back okay. and put it back in the operating account of Pete Dressen. That really, um, oh, and, and while I was at the bank, I did talk to, based on our discussion at the last meeting, um, about the idea of moving 
all of the accounts to Broadway. Uh, I did discuss that with my banker there, and she is going to um, put together what we need to do. And I'll make sure that that's on the agenda for the next board meeting, which is November 4th. And uh, that way y'all can vote on it and I'll have more information from her at that time so I can share it with you and y'all can vote to either move it or move them or not move them. And that concludes my report, sir, unless y'all have questions. None for me. Mm -mm. All right. So there we go. All right, so we'll be back. Uh, so. We'll be back in early November, I guess. Yes, sir. November 4th, All right. 5 o'clock. Uh, now that I have these minutes signed, what I'll do is uh, tomorrow I will, I will send Jennifer over at the city another agenda to uh, in these minutes so that she can uh, get us posted. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Oh, and one other thing at that November 4th meeting, uh, Darren Smith will be here. And he's our consultant that we used on uh, Stryker. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's another property that wants to partner with the Housing Authority called Arden at Colors Crossing. I sent you all a little information on it, but it's not on the agenda. It'll be on the next agenda. Perfect. Uh, Darren will be here to discuss that along with Arden's um, guy. It's the same guy that that was here last time. I can't think of his name, Sam, some or other. Whatever. We'll just call him the guy. Guy. The guy. I'll find out his name. All right, perfect. All right, well, it's 5.07, and we will adjourn unless there's opposition to that. So, thanks, everybody. Thank you all for being here. Thank you. Good luck at your next one.